guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a Q&A video. So I am doing this video so you guys could get to know me a little bit. I asked a couple of you guys in one of my last recent videos if you guys could leave me questions down below. And so yeah, if you guys would like to get to know me a little bit, let's go ahead and get started. So the first question is, what part of Florida do you live in? I live in Tampa. P.S. I love your videos and you're so beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. And so the answer to that question is, I I do live in Florida and I do live in Tampa as well. Um, I kind of live more in the outer suburbs and so yeah. I do like it here in Florida. I've been born and raised here in Tampa, Florida. And would I like to move somewhere else? I would like to move somewhere else but right now I'll be put because my family is everything to me. and. At home is where the heart is and the definition of home for me is like being around your family and all your loved ones and so right now this is where I am and this is where I will be so the next question do you ever want to get a tattoo if so of what I already do have a tattoo and um, it is on this arm um, it says never apart and it has like a little heart on the outer part of it and so a lot of people are always like is that for a guy is that for a guy and, and the answer to that is no it was not for a guy I would never get anything about a guy tattooed on my body so the story behind this tattoo is that me and my sister it was actually her birthday I forgot which birthday it was but um, I think it was her 22nd birthday. We just got it in to us. We were like, you know what, let's just go get a tattoo. And so my sister is like everything to me. She is my best friend. I tell her every, like she is my God sent best friend. And so um, you guys have not yet met her cause you know, every time I film, she's never around. But um, <laughs> we gotta do it. We actually have to do a video together. So yeah, we decided to get a tattoo. My sister says together forever and mine says never apart. And then my little sister, eventually she's gonna get a matching tattoo when she's old enough and it's going to say always in each other's hearts. And so I just think that it's just the perfect saying and it's just perfect tattoo for three sisters. Um, that's the whole meaning of that tattoo. I think that if I'm gonna get a tattoo on my body, it has to mean something to me. And so then the next tattoo that I wanna get is on my back, the center in my back, kinda where like a sports bra kinda like crosses. And I just wanna get kinda, it's kinda like a circle tattoo. And it's hard to describe, but it is going to be like a tree. And then underneath is gonna be like a half flower. And I just think that both of those are like mean so much to me. One, a tree means so much. And I just think that a tree means life, wisdom, purity. The symbol of a tree just has so much meaning. And so I want to have a tree on my back. And um, then the flower is just very, it's a really artsy flower. So um, I'm a really artsy person. So I just thought that that would just be beautiful. And it would just pretty much describe me and my life kind of in a way and so um, I'm still designing that one I am not really set on how exactly I want it to be yet so that's why I have not yet jumped the gun on that one to go ahead and get that one um, real quick back to this tattoo um, we did have it handwritten because I wanted it to be really thin really delicate because I'm like I don't know I just love like really dainty things and so I wanted it to be really thin, really th delicate, and I wanted it to be handwritten. I didn't want it to be any like script writing or anything like that. I just wanted it to be handwritten. So it's not made off of a computer. It was handwritten. So then next question, I think I have three more questions. What's your favorite makeup product at the moment? Oh gosh. I would definitely have to say the Jaclyn Hill palette. By the way, I have it on right now. And so I've had so many people say, oh this, eyeshadow palette is so good this eyeshadow palette is bomb and when I tried Jaclyn Hills palette for the first time like it is everything that she has said that it is to be it is absolutely perfect I love it so much like I've been using it ever since I first tried it it took me a while to try it once I got it so I, did, I can't say that I've been using it ever since I got it because it took me a bit to actually dig in because I didn't even want to touch it when I first got it I just thought it was so beautiful I didn't even want to touch it um so yeah I finally started using it and I just love it and I'm obsessed 
if you don't have it you need it and i just think it's a beautiful amazing one of the most amazing palettes that i have i think it's my top favorite now and guys if you don't know me i love palettes i i gotta do a palette collection video for you guys and so the next question is when did you decide to do youtube um i decided to do youtube maybe about four years ago I've been wanting to do YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I decided to do YouTube four years ago, guys, but I have not started YouTube until five months ago. And so I decided to do, I, the reason why I never started was I just felt like I didn't have the right equipment. I didn't, I just wanted everything set up when I had it, when that's not true, guys. You don't need all that stuff at first. The last question is, um, do you have any tips on starting a YouTube? And um, so, this is where this kind of ties into each other. Um, guys, the trick is when you're first trying to start a YouTube is it doesn't matter what camera you have. It doesn't matter what kind of lighting you have. It doesn't matter because like people like to see you grow. And so the number one rule and the number one tip that I could give you is to just start. Just start. Put your phone up in front of you and just film yourself talking like whatever you want your YouTube video to be. Um, whatever you like. That's just starting. I guess I'm, I'm really organized. So like I like things to be step by step for me like like I have lists all the time of the things I need to buy I have lists all the time of the things I need to do so that's just like the kind of person I am so it kind of took me a while to start and then like each year guys like literally starting my YouTube channel would be my goal each year and I just never did it so then one day I went and bought my MacBook and that same day I don't know it was just like something took over me and then I just started I created my YouTube account, I created my um, header, YouTube header, I created everything that day and I just started. And honestly I was like, wow, it was that easy, I could have just started this like forever ago. And guys, like, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, it really doesn't matter. As long as you're posting and being true to who you are and you're just showing the things that you like or whatever you want to have a YouTube for, you know, that's all that matters and everything else will follow. And so that's the number one tip, whatever step, whatever, I don't know, the number one thing that I would have to say is to just start. Just start. Guys, just think about it. Just start. Yeah, I just, just, just started. And that's my number one tip that I can give you is to just start. And so, yeah, guys, that completes my questions. If you guys ever have any other questions that you would like for me, I will be having more Q&As later down the road. Um, so um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I have a giveaway that's currently going on, so you can go ahead and enter that giveaway. I will be posting all the details in the description bar down below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Yeah.